Good morning, Internet. This is Alex da Sudokus, and it is Monday, the 6th of December, 2021. And we have another New York Times hard Sudoku for us today, which we will solve using slide notations. So let's have a look. Um, let me just reset the timer to make it a bit more accurate. I uh, got a pair of ones there. So Snyder Notations, the principle is basically looking at the grid, um, scanning the numbers and for every single box, um, if you see two possible candidates, you pencil mark them in. And if you see more than two candidates, you don't. And yeah, that's about it. And uh, hopefully it's going to help us arrive at um, the solution. Obviously, if you have less than two candidates, it means you actually have the number. And um, and yeah, just it's just a way of having a simple and clean grid, but hopefully having enough pencil markings that allows us to solve the puzzle, basically. Good morning, Jagger. How are you? Uh, I have a one here, which means these are nines and six and nines. Nice. 69 start. That is a beautiful start to the puzzle. Um, so six and nines are there. Doesn't actually give me anything right now, but I do have a nine that is on its own. So I call it a weak number. And I'd like to know if there is a naked single trapped with it and I can't see one at a glance at a moment's notice I'm missing a set no hold on I'm missing a two and an eight here so that's not super useful so I'm going to pencil mark in the eight over there first I'm going to do more pencils and see if I can I can do better than what I've got at the moment let me Oh, I've got a pair of ones over here. So I am kind of all over the place at the moment with my scans because, um, yeah, I'm just trying to be a bit more, I guess, organic rather than systematic with my scans. So first of all, I'm going to blow my nose. So brace yourselves. Oh, my neck is better. Thank you, Jagger. Yeah, it's kind of like, you know, when you get used to it, you stop thinking about it. But yeah, I can still I can still feel there's a bit of achiness there. But um, but yeah, it's, it is better. Thank you so much for asking. That's so sweet of you. Um, can I do much with the fives? I can't see anything with the fives. So sixes. Sixes are not giving me anything either. Seven. Sevens are locked up there. I'm not seeing much of the sevens either. So maybe I was already where I needed to be. Because um, a nine isn't going to give us anything. So what is on this roll? We've got two nines, six and... Two nine, five and six. Okay. I've got two and six there. So that's... Uh, that's five and nine. Two and five does. So that's an other sixty-nine. Um Ooh. Oh. <laughs> mm, can't see anything with that. So I'm a bit disappointed and um a bit at a loss on where to go next. So maybe I'm gonna scan the weak areas around the grit. For example, here is a three and a nine because I've got two and seven. And, oh no, it can't be a nine. Oh, that's a pointing pair of nines. Hold on. So what am I missing on this column? I'm missing two, three, two, three, seven and eight. I've got two and seven, so it's three and eight. I've got threes over there. Um, doesn't actually give me anything, does it? No, it doesn't. Damn it. I've got another weak areas that I can attack. I don't think I have. That's my two weak areas that I've attacked. On this row and on this column. So, what do I do? What do I do? Because I can't see any more numbers. Oh dear. Sorry, the 69 have been disappointing. It's, it's okay. You know, it's not for everyone. And 
you know, Tang Digs is a thing. So, <laughs> why am I talking about this? I don't know. I'm disgusting. And I should stop. So, um, and I can't, I can't hold you responsible, personally, Jagger. Unless you're saying that you set this puzzle and instigated a 69. Uh, sometimes you think it won't be like that, but it do. <laughs> okay, maybe we need to look at the quintuplets a little bit. Uh, maybe there's a naked nine somewhere. Mm, pressing extra doubt because I'm missing... Two, five, six, seven, and nine. Two, five, six, seven, and nine. So that's two, six, and nine. Six and seven, so two, five, and nine. Two and five, seven, six, nine. I don't love this. I got to say. I really wonder if I'm missing something glaringly obvious now because I feel like it shouldn't be this tricky because. They are literally, there's literally nothing for me to go on at the moment. So, let's have a look. I've got one, three, and eight. Do I have a pair of ones and eight? No, I haven't. Two, four, two, four, nine? Nope. Three, five, six, that's just a six to scan. That's no good. One, three, five, only got a five to scan. Nope. Um, we need Mara here. We need some sneaky hidden triples. Um, four and seven, maybe, on this roll? Nope, not seeing it. I've got a pair of fours there, but I don't think that's an X-Wing waiting to happen. No, because there are no fours in these cells. What the heck am I supposed to be looking for? What are these again? Two, two, five, six, and nine. Hmm. Hold on a second. I've got one and se one seven there. What else am I missing? Six, nine, seven, four. There's a four there as well. God damn it. God damn it. Uh, row seven. Uh, oh, that's another quintuplet. Okay. Thank you, Jagger. Let's have a look at this one then. We're missing one, two. One, two, six, seven, and eight. Okay, I'm a bit disappointed I didn't look at this because this is connected to the nine. To the weak area, which I should be looking at. So, hold on. If I were to make a single, I would hide here in this cell. But I'm seeing a missing two and a six. I can't see any sixes. Unless... No, it's not going to be hidden there. One, two. One, two, six, seven, and eight. So, seven and eight are locked out of those cells. One... Oh, one, seven, and eight are locked out of these two cells. So one, seven, and eight is a triple in these three cells. There we go. So that leaves me a two, two and six, a pair of twos and sixes here. Okay, that is something. We can work with that because we've got a pair of twos there. And um, thank you for that, Jagger. Um, and also, if this is one, seven, and eight, that means this is a naked eight. So it is a naked single now that I've got a two and a six. Okay, so we've got a naked single and a hidden triple. So nice. Knees, knees. Okay, I've got an eight and an eight. I have eights over there. So I've got some more eights in place. And they're all over the place here. So I don't love these ones. I'm going to leave them alone. So these are ones and sevens. Also don't love it. Um... So we're looking at the twos and the sixes. Okay, what can they do? Got sixes here. Hmm. It's not as beautiful as I hoped. But this is two, four. Um, what are they? Two, four, six, and nine. I've got two and seven, so it's four and nine. Do not love it. Um, have I added a new number on this 
roll. One, two, six, and nine. Yeah, that's still the same, isn't it? So, hmm, what have I changed? Placing the eights here creates another weak area, which isn't that what I just scanned? Two, four, six, and nine. Yes, I just scanned that. So, is it about following the eight? Yes, we've got six, nine, seven, and four. Four, six, seven, and nine. So, sevens can't go in any of these cells. So, that must be a naked seg seven again, which again doesn't open any more doors. What the heck, puzzle? What the heck? How are you so useless? Um, these are four, six, and nine. I don't love it. Sixes can't go there. What what is on here then? We've got six, nine, two, and five. Two, five, six, and nine. We're not gonna find anything from from that, are we? We've got a pair of fives there. Yeah, that's not useful. Maybe I should just do another scan then. Because literally can't even right now. Literally can't even. So, one, two. Uh, I've scanned the ones. So I'm looking at the twos to see if I've got anything else. Twos are locked up there. Threes are just the X wings. Fours. Fours are not inspiring confidence. Oh, we have a pointing set of fours. There we go. So that means these are fours. Okay. Is that helpful? I suppose this this is a triple as well. This is four, five, and nine. Okay, let's pencil mark in a triple here. Um, how does that help me? It doesn't. And that is the truth. It's just a disappointment. Oh, I have a pointing pair of fives there, actually. So that's a five, leaving me a four nine pair. And also, whoop, 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 got some fives here. So fives are here and here. We don't love these ones. Um, ones and sevens still not resolved. Four and nine, is that going to change anything here? Gives me a pair of nines over there. Fours and nines, again, locked in the same two cells because of the four and a nine there. So these are two, three, eight, and seven. Mm. Two, seven, three. That's gotta be a naked three then, if this is two, three, eight, and seven, because I've got two, seven, and eight. So I'm gonna assume that is correct and lock in the threes. So what happens with the threes locked in? I've got two, nine two seven and nine left oh my god um no two eight and nine left two eight and nine. i've got an eight there doesn't do anything locks the eights down there two eight and nine nine can't go here either so that's got to be at a two okay these are eights and nines okay that leaves me one six and seven so Oops, pointing pair sevens, locks a six down, six is over here. Really not getting much flow from from this. Oh shit, two seven and eight, not two eight and nine. Oh god. Critical error. Thank you for that. Um, I don't think it makes a change at the bottom, does it? No, that is still correct. I just, for some reason, pencil marked in the nine rather than sevens. I hope I'm right. I hope I'm right. Tell me if I'm still wrong. <laughs> um, these are ones. So pointy pair of ones locks a pair of ones up there. And these are one, five and... One, five and seven. Hate it. Got some more sevens to contend with. Uh, could roll nine, b seven instead. Oh, yes, it can. Shit. We need to be kind of rewind. I think we goofed up. We might have goofed up. So, we did know the three. Do we know the three? Yeah, we might have messed up. So, pointing. Yep, the five and the three are still correct. That leaves me two, seven, 
2, 7, and 8. God damn it. So let's try this again. 8 has to be here according to what I've got. Because of this 8 and that 8. So there's a pair of 8s there. So now we're left with 2s, 7s, and 8s. Okay. So yeah, that can still be a 2 and 7. God damn it. What am I so bad at this? Uh, it does lock in a 3. So this is 1, 5, and 7, right? Pair of 5s there. 1 and 7 remaining. Pointing ones though. Okay. This is much sad because we're still kind of stuck with this puzzle then. Threes. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Times are wasting. Um, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Uh, four, six, and nine there. That's not useful. So let's scan the twos. Scan the twos. I have a sneaky feeling that I'm not having a good day. Pointing fours. I feel like I'm not actually doing that well today. And I'm not sure why. Fives. Fives are locked in these two cells. Five, 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 six. Sixes are locked in no cells. And that's about it. Sevens. Sevens are locked up top somewhere. Eight are locked in here. And these three cells, which is not useful. And now the nines, does it bring more joy? I've got five and seven here. So, and four and six. Yeah, I feel like that's a naked single. So I've got one missing a two. I've got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Yeah, this is a naked five. No, not naked five. What did I say? Naked two. Um, so the naked two, we've got ourselves another pair of twos there, another pair of twos there. That's a bit disappointing, actually. But it does mean the two is now here on row six because twos can't go here and it can't go there. So that unlocks the five, which gives us the final pair of fives. What else does a two do? It opens up a two there and a two here with the six, which means a six and four are resolved, which means a nine and six are resolved. And another six is unlocked over here, unlocking the six and five, and another five over there. So I've got one seven pair, leaving me with fours and nines. Not quite there yet. Um, there must be something else that I've done. Yes. The five and eight are resolved because this five and this is in fact a nine, which means a one is here and a number goes there. One goes there which unlocks another one. So, what do we do next? We've got fours and, fours and seven left. And this is, I guess this is a four, seven, nine triple. So we just have to come back to it later. So these are nines and, what are they? Nines and something, but four unlocks the four and nine down there anyway. So this has to be nine and that has to be the eight, which was what we were after. And this eight, mix all of them. That's all the eights done. So there's another number here. That's a nine, which unlocks the fours and the nines, which means there's a pair of fours here. And this is a one, six, seven triple, I want to say. That's annoying. That's very annoying. That's an annoying triple. What is this? Twos and sevens. Also annoying. One and seven. Annoying. Ooh. I know this solves now, but I just need to know. 
the angle of attack. I'm not quite sure where that is yet. So let's have a look. Fours are still not relieved, but I do have a pair of sixes here. Also not helpful, pair of sixes down here, sevens. Sevens are somewhat restricted now, I suppose, but not restricted enough. Hold on, I'm missing two, seven, and two, seven, and nine. Damn you. Damn you numbers. Oh, I suppose there's a nine here, actually. This nine and that nine unlocks a nine, which unlocks a two, which unlocks another pair of twos there. That's not useful at all, is it? It's a lie that is useful, but I do have seven here. So these are fours and something. So that means that, oh, yeah, this can't be a seven anyway because of the pointing pair of sevens. So that leaves me fours and nines, which means to go a little something like this. Okay. Um, the seven unlocks the two, seven, six, and four over there. Two, six, one, and nine. No, seven and seven and one. God, that took forever. I'm sorry, that was so slow, guys. Um, let's have a look at today's gas. Genuinely accessible Sudoku. See how accessible it is. Uh, I'm on the wrong channel. Wait, where where is the daily... Is this the daily genuine... Nope, that's not daily genuinely accessible Sudoku at all. So, shit, I've lost a channel. What the... Unless, have they done something weird? Gas leak. Um, guys, I lost daily. <laughs> the daily genuinely accessible Sudoku channel. Daily puzzles. Oh no, oh no. Don't collapse a thing. Is it Sudoku puzzle discussions? Daily Sudoku discussion. Is that? That's the that's the daily. Okay, that's fine. We'll copy the link. Yeah, I look on the um, cracking the cryptic Discord, and um, I ended up on a different channel. And also, I had a habit of like collapsing categories. So, um, I made an error. I don't think I used the next wing. So let's have a look at this. Oh my god. This looks scary, but it probably isn't. So, much faster than yesterday. I can't remember yesterday's. I can't remember anything of yesterday. Besides having a really nice day sitting in bed with my wife watching um, Spider-Man Far From Home. Oh, so bad at this. Uh, Novice local rules apply. Digits along the line must have values strictly between the values in the circles at the end of that line. Okay, so that means, um, yeah, the numbers, oh, that means there has to be a nine because these numbers must be larger than what's inside, right? Digits along the line must have values strictly between the values. Okay, so that leaves me seven and six and seven. No, six, seven, and f yeah, six and seven because there's a five over there. Okay, that's fine. Um, I've got se seven here, so that's got to be eight or nine. Hmm... This has to be 1 and 9, so 1 and 9 are resolved. There has to be a 1 um, between a 6 and a 7. 7 and 8 here because I've got 9. So if I have a 2, there must be a 1. Um, hmm, anything else interesting going on here? 4, 1, 2, 3. Should I do some normal Sudokus? Or do we think we can get something out of the bag before then? If it's four and eight, this would be five and six. Or it includes the eight. Yeah, don't think I'm quite ready for that yet. So let's pencil mark in some nines. Um, oh, actually, nines can never be in a line 
So maybe we can actually deduce where they are. So nines can strictly be in these cells. This is the only place left for nine because nines can never be in there. So there can't be nine. That means this is a nine. Okay, that's interesting. So there must be a pair of nines there, which means the nines are one of these two cells must be here because it can't be on the line. And uh, nines can't be in those cells, so this must be a nine. Okay, that's one bit of logic. And now we can look at the ones. One can never be on the line, so it must be here. Uh, one, one, one must be there because it can't be on the line. One, one, one can't be on the line, so this is a one nine pair. One and one, so hold on, where can a one go in this box? Only place left here, so that solves the one and the nine. So there's only two places, oh, that means the one has to go there. Oh, this can't be a nine anymore, so that's a nine. So I think all the ones and nines are now resolved. Okay, so what can we do with that? Bit of information. Where do we go next? Do we look at the eights? We've got a pair of eights there. But let's think about it. No, this is not a pair of eights. In fact, I can't have any eights on this um, line at all if we look at this row. So that must be an eight actually because um, we can't put a number larger than the eight. Yeah, maybe it's worth looking at the eight. So got another eight here. So this is five or six. Um, yeah, it is pretty, isn't it? Um, eights can go on lines now, but we need to think about it. So eights are down there, up here. Mm, can't see anything interesting going on the, with those. So, mm, got some ones and nines here. We hate those. Um, what looks useful? There's a pointing pair of fours there. Do we have more with the fours? Uh, one and eight, yeah, that's not good. We need some small-ish chains, or whatever we, we call these. Um, yeah, should we look at the twos now? Because the twos are now probably quite restricted. Maybe not. Hmm. What are these? Oh, sixes. Hang on. This six forces there to be a pointing pair of sixes. That solves the six and nine, actually. So it should have spotted that sooner. That means the sevens are up here, which means there's a seven down here, which means there's a pair of sevens over here. Okay. And these are now five and twos and fives. Can oh, twos and fives can be resolved because of the five, which means there's a pair of fives there. And there's a five here somewhere. The twos are now locked up top, which means there's a two down here. In fact, these are two, three, and four. Can't be a three here. These must be five and six. Okay. So this must be lower than five or six. I've got one, two, and three. So this can be four or five. Can still be a five if this is a six. Yeah. Uh, four and five. So this must be two or four. It can't be a two. So it must be a four. So it must be a five. So it must be a six. It must be a five. Okay. So this is seven or eight. Um, and we've unlocked a five there. So these are, what are they? Eight and six and eight. Okay. Uh, 8 doesn't go there because we can't have a 9 so that must be a 6 and that must be the 8 ok oh this can't be a 5 anymore that's a 6 so how are we doing 6s are now pointing here which means there's a pair of 6s up there which means that's a 6 that's another 6 Um. Oh, this can't be a four. So this is two, three, two, three, and eight. So two can't go there. Oh. So it's got to be three and eight. And yes, this can be two, three, and eight. 
So if this is a three, that will have to be a two. I would like that. But more importantly, six and seven are resolved because it is six. So have I solved all the sixes? Yes, I have. Um, and these are now fours and fives, which are resolvable because of the four over there. And the five tells me there's a pair of fives over here. Five can't go here because I've got six inside. So that has to be seven or eight, actually. So that forms a seven, eight pair on the roll, which means these are twos and threes. So they're solved because of a two. So this is now seven or eight. Uh, you have number eight in, you have eight numbers in row eight. Oh yeah, I do. Also, hi as, um, this is a three. So um, seven, eight, that's possible. Um, This is, um, what is this, two, four, two, four, and seven. Okay, so seven can't go here or here. So that's only place for the seven. So twos and fours are done. In fact, that three should have told me that that was a two. Um, okay, so we placed, what did we place? Place a one, two. Two's up here somewhere now. Let's see, two can't go there. Mm. Don't think we're quite ready yet. Four is now locked in here, which means this is two or three. Also tells me that's a four. And there's a four over here, which is normal. These are seven, eight, and five, seven, eight. Okay, five, seven, and eight. And this can't be a seven. Uh, they can't be eight. This must be the eight. So five and seven. So that's the only way we can fit those number in these three cells. So that means this is four and seven as a pair. Um, these are two, three, two, three, and eight. So have I locked down the eight as an X-wing? I think I have. That means that's an eight. And we've got an X-wing. So that's a pair of eights. Well, I suppose eight. Oh, if that's a pair of eight. Yeah, that's got to be a seven. This is two, three, and eight. Okay, can I restrict them? No, I can't. Except for here, this is two and three. So I've got my two, three, eight, triple, two, three. So that must be the eight. No, that must be a five. And the five doesn't give us anything. Okay, well, this can't be a two. Yeah, two must be here because if that's a two, I've got no one here. So that two... Um doesn't actually unlock all the numbers that I hoped it would, but I do have a seven here locked down. So that's a four and seven resolved, which means this is a three, two and four triple. And these are twos and eights. So they go a little something like this. Uh, what next? What's this? This is a three. Okay, so we just need to look at these numbers. Um, oh, damn. Okay, this can't be a three, so it must be an eight that solves all of these numbers. And eight and three. And there we go. That's today's genuine accessible Sudoku. So I hope you guys find it useful on YouTube. If you did, please leave a like below. And if you didn't, just um, yeah, hit the dislike. I don't really mind. And uh, if you want to see more Sudoku videos in your house, press the subscribe button. And I'll see you all tomorrow.